Jesus Broke Farm. And on this episode, we're going to talk about insecticide soap. I mean, come on. The bugs starting to get out. We've had a heavy rain. You got to start spraying something because these bugs about to take over my guard. So what I'm going with this summer is insecticide soap. Um, I used the, the already mixed version of it, and I had pretty good success. But what I thought I'd do is I tried to find a bit try to find the best insecticide soap I can find. So I did some Googling how I do. And I came up with Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp pe peppermint pure castile soap. And what I really liked about this, you can use this on your body. So if I'm comfortable enough to put this on my body, of course I put it on my plants. And the ingredients are stuff that I can buy from Kroger. So it makes sense. Water organic coconut oil potassium hydroxide organic palm kernel oil organic olive oil now this menthol whatever that is i don't think i can buy that but i'm pretty sure i can find it or look it up uh organic hemp seed oil organic jojoba oil citric acid you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you know what the last word is but the whole is I want to use something that's that's easy on my plants that that I, I know won't hurt my plants. So I went with that. Um like I said, I've used um insecticide soap last year and I had good results. And that's the best so it should um only get better. So the cool thing about it is it does not harm beneficial insects. It kills aphids, soft body insects like white flies, thrips, spider mites, and millet bugs. And that, that's the majority of the stuff I have problems with. So I figured that was my best go-to solution. So I'm gonna mix some up, we're gonna come back, and we're gonna do some spraying. Potatoes. So, oh, I'm using a half gallon sprayer. Um, I think it's two and a half teaspoons uh, for a half gallon five for a full gallon now it's an overcast day it's still late in the evening i didn't want to take no chances so when you use anything for pests i always try to do it late in the evening yeah they've been coming at these beats and i'm gonna come at them now some people uh so I'm gonna cover this area. Look at that white fly. Yeah, he don't wanna be on camera. He know he did wrong. But it looked like he don't like it already. As soon as I started spraying, he, he left. But after a heavy rain, we already got mosquitoes out here. So I'm up. Be a little forward thinking and I ain't gonna wait till I got to have. I saw a Japanese beetle out here too. I don't know if it worked for Japan. And it smells just like soap. So stuff that I feel like bugs wanna eat, I'm gonna spray it down. Get these little maters here. Smell my beans. Yeah, we eating all these beans this year. All of them. I don't know about the tomatoes. Usually the only problem I have with tomatoes is hornworm. But here my squash. Yeah. I don't know if it work on vine boards. I doubt it. But unless they like taking a bath and smelling soap, they're going to get off it. I know I got to get it on my eggplants. Something biting on that. All right. My little candy cane. Some on it. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, about to get a pepper right there. All right, focus, 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 focus. Look at the size of these beans, y'all. Let's hit the end grind garden. Put a little of this soap on everything. 
try it on this small tomato plant. I hope it don't kill the strawberries. I hope it work on slug. They soft bite it, so I feel like it should work on slug. No, I ain't never messed with that company. Now, it's always more than one uh, thing to use in your garden when it comes to pests. I mean, sometimes it's, it's more what you having problems with. My problems in my garden ain't the problems in your garden. So, check out uh, Turf Therapy. He'll be talking about neem oil. And um, check out uh, Farmer Cube Lion Chris Gardener. He'll be talking about diatomaceous earth. But my pick for this. Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap.